Hi and welcome to another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video today from Croatia. Here we are looking at this lovely heart wreath today, which is made out of stringers and embellished with our new flamework flowers and some of our gorgeous pink marini um, designed to make the perfect gift for that special person for Valentine's Day this year. And I'm going to show you how to make it. So the first thing I've done is on a piece of thin fire on a kiln shelf is to sketch out a heart that I'm going to use. Now I want to make this heart out of green glass. Now you could just use strips of green glass and slowly build it up until you've got the, the shape you wanted. Um, I like to use sort of use up scrap. I feel it's kind of more ecological and uh, to use up things that uh, maybe I can't sell. So I've got a box of um, sort of scrap green stringers that I'm going to use to do this um, and I'm just sort of going to Put them out like this but if you don't have um green glass or um you could use stringers um uh, vitrograph stringers or you could use you know strips of glass as i've said um i'm don't have anyone to film for me today so i'm going to do this and put the pieces of glass down and then i will show you before it goes in the kiln so here it is ready to go in the kiln it will go on attack fuse and um we'll see how it is when it comes out so here it is out of the kiln. Um, I love the texture and the feeling, and it's got enough sort of aventurine in it to give it a sparkle. Oh, just pinned a piece off there. Um, so I now want to think about decorating it. Now we've got these new flamework fly flowers out. Um, we've got these ones which are going to be called um, Blossom, which are sort of, uh, they've got five, um, five petals, but kind of like Blossom, and we're doing them in various different colours. Um, like this, and then we've got these ones which are going to be called star, which are a bit more like a star, and you can see we've got them in various different colours as well. They'll be the same price as the other flame work flowers we do. Um, so I'm going to sort of put these um, these on to tack fuse with some other little bits and pieces, and then I'll show you how it looks before it goes in the kiln. So I've added some um, the flame work flowers, and I want to add some XL hearts. Now, just with our XLs, they are tiled sword. And so I do like to take them and literally just put a thin covering of clear powder on top, which just makes them really brings up the kind of shine and takes away the tile sword edge. Um, and I'm doing them. So I'm literally with these, just putting them here, putting a tiny bit of clear powder on before I put them on here. This is going to be fun when I have to transport this over to the kiln, but normally put a bit of glue on. I'm doing this sort of quickly so you guys can see how this is. So these are these little they are candy candy pink hearts. Excels going on like so. I'm just gonna put a few on like that. Um and I'll have a think what I want to put on next. So here it is ready to go in the kiln. Um the great thing to do with this is to use bigger and smaller pieces together. It gives you the kind of texture and dimension. So I've used these very small little um, uh, uh, French vanilla minis that I found. Um, I've used some bigger sunset roses. I've used some pink dahlia. I've used some pink and neo star flower. And then the XL hearts and then the bigger flowers. I'm sorry if the camera's jumping in and out. It's not so easy to do zo zooming when filming with this kind of phone. But as you can see, all in all, you get a really nice kind of textural piece with lots of different things happening in it. Um, so I'm not going to put it in the kiln. It is going to go on a supremely light tack fuse. I'm probably going to take it to 700, see how it is. If it's good, then that will be great. If it's not stuck enough, I'll put it back in. But I would rather go too light than too heavy on it. So here it is out of the kiln. I've gone on a very light tack fuse because I did have a look at it when it was in the kiln at top temperature and decided it needed to go a little bit heavier. It possibly could go back in again. I don't know whether you're going to be able to pick it up on the camera, but the um, powdered frit on top of this has still got a texture on it because the, the um, tack fuse was so light. Um, and I was thinking actually after it was in there in the middle of the night, as you do when you put things in the kiln, you wake up in the middle of the night and think, ah, oh, I should have put a metal hook here so then it could hang on the wall really easily, um, which is, you know, would have been good. But actually you can sort of hook a ribbon around and just put a bit of ribbon on like this is pretty too. So you can do it that way. Um, 
just to sort of highlight our marini i just think they do look great these um these are the pink dahlias look particularly lovely mixed in these new flame work flowers of ours um, work really well and their shape really lasts if you keep the tack fuse use light you've still got the texture in the leaves which you probably maybe can't see probably in this one you can um uh i'm actually if i bring it into the sunlight you may be able to see it better um oh there we go um you've still got the kind of texture in the leaves which is lovely and um, um which i really love I always also say that it's really good to use the the lighter white petals, white flowers even, with the pink ones. It's nice to have the contrast between the, the whites. So it's good to, I love the fact that I've used a kind of all pink um, uh, sort of palette, but it's nice to have the white ones and the other ones. Um, my daughter, very sensible girl, had the idea of putting a mirror behind. That would be lovely because you'd have the kind of mirror with the le these green bits coming over the top. And then it could be a heart-shaped mirror and you could literally just silicon if you could get either cut yourself or get cut a piece of heart-shaped mirror you could just silicon it to the back um, and even if you would put your hook on already uh, when you fused it you just tack fused a hook on the back then that could go straight on the wall with the mirror so that would be a really pretty way of having this too and actually when you were tack fusing if you put a piece of fiber paper under before you're tacking you'd even have a little kind of three mil fiber paper you'd even have a little place for the mirror to sit inside and um, so that's a clever idea coming all the way from river so well done riv um so you know i think it's a great little project i think it's a lovely idea i particularly love how my marini look but you know that's just me haha <laughs> um but i hope you have some fun making this just a reminder if you don't have lots of scrappy stringers like i do you can always just use um just strips of green glass, just cut them up um, and put them down and that would look equally as lovely. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video and that you will have a go and make one yourself. And if you have, please subscribe.